So on the source side here, get your positive 12 volts and um, this is the rail where the uh, high voltage flyback positive comes in. Okay, so the first thing it will hit is the uh, one side of a one kilovolt, one microfarad capacitor. Then it will hit the positive side of a 450 volt, 120 microfarad capacitor. It will not, the positive will not be able to go this way because of the diode, but it can go this way. And this is a 14 volt Zener diode. which basically means only 14 volts will pass through. So when these capacitor banks here charge up, if they charge up, which they should, to over 14 volts, anything over 14 volts will start funneling through the Zener diode to the positive side of your 12 volt battery. And of course the negative rail of the flybacks right here. And let me zoom out so you can verify that. See these two diodes? See the 1N4007 right there? That connects to the, uh, right here, the negative side of the flyback. Here's the positive side of the flyback. It's going this way. So the same thing is happening on the inverse side of the circuit, but let's just focus on one side because both sides of the circuit are identical and wired identical and switched identical. So you only need to focus on one side of the circuit and the two switches that control that side so the positive flyback comes down here hits these two positive sides of these two capacitor banks negative rail also hits the air but only the 14 volts passes in or hits your 12 volt battery the negative also hits your 12 volt battery whatever your battery has in it over 12 volts will come out the positive here of the 12 volt zener out this way and it will feed your positive rail here for the next pulse when this switch is closed it will charge up positive on the next coil and this switch will then close also and the negative will connect to the negative rail as seen here from your battery so to some degree Assuming that these capacitors drain themselves into your battery and there's nothing in them, your battery will feed this circuit. So I just wanted to explain why I added these two zeners here. Okay, They're there to uh, give it a greater chance of charging up your battery. Um, and and only charging your battery with 14 volts um, and and only charging your battery with 14 volts so you you never essentially you never have to worry about your batteries uh overcharging and your battery will always release no no less than 12 volts so if your battery drops below 12 volts it won't feed the circuit anymore okay well you know so that's that guys um you know, I think this is good to have here, these zeners. Just, if you're trying to get the flyback to efficiently capture all of the flyback energy. So I'm back to uh, this part where I explain how um, to capture the flyback with the capacitors it occurred to me it might be better to not only put the capacitors you know capacitors are good to have anyway but just to help regulate things but they're not the main aiding device 
uh, uh, for capturing Kleinek. Um, I would say to move these two capacitors down or uh, below here, below this Zener output, 14 volts. And and then replace them with a lead acid battery up here so that this battery being lead acid or whatever electrolytic battery that captures flyback will then push converted energy down through the zener and these capacitors if you put them down here they'll help pick up that converted charge and funnel it to your other battery well when you think about it it's probably better to have capacitors on both sides of this zener as well as uh, electrolytic battery of some type you know nickel metal hydride lead acid something good for capturing radiant you want it on above above the zener here the 14 volt zener and you want it below the 14 volt zener you want two electrolytic capacitors and two um chemical batteries like a lead acid or whatever why i say that because right now i have just capacitors up here and they might not be all that great for capturing flyback so by adding a chemical battery here with the capacitors you kind of guarantee more of that capture and then the capacitors can help convert it and send it past the zener to the other battery bank and other capa and, and capacitor bank and the bottom bank of battery and capacitor will then push it up 12 volts to the 12 volt zener out to feed the circuit again. So, and then the top bank of battery here on this side of the circuit will, will also receive 12 volts from the bottom battery. Okay. Um, but any voltage over 12 volts will go uh, through the zener here. So that's the whole point of putting it there is to capture the flyback. And that's going to be a higher voltage than 12 volts. So, And keeping a chemical battery here with capacitors is equally good. I think better to have both than just one or the other. And actually, if you're going to have only one, you're better off having chemical battery like lead acid on both sides of the zener. But if you really want to catch all the juice, all the jewels in that flyback, you're going to have to use capacitor banks. And then, you know, after your capacitor bank, then you, you funnel some of that power to your battery for dense storage. I hope that makes sense, guys. Um, I'll zoom around here a little bit. You can see the same thing is happening on the other side of the circuit. Positive flyback comes out here on the positive rail, the positive side of your battery. 